Tunnel? Yeah, you get one of these. Oh, you gotta hit the bottom with, of it. Hey, what is going on, everyone? This is KDK Kill Daikin. So, we have the Super Nintendo World Power Band sitting here in front of me. Uh, we just got back in yesterday. Um, really glad we had a nice time. Really glad that we did go. So, in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about what these power bands do. We have uh, each one. Uh, one of them is already open because I bought one for myself. And uh, the rest of them, a guy I know named Joel Retro Lizard, he's also on YouTube. Uh, he lives on the East Coast, so he wanted six of them. So he sent me the money over, and uh, I'm going to ship these uh, tomorrow. And uh, each one of these costs 43 bucks. But, you know, besides that, I also want to talk to you guys a little bit about the part. Uh, I do plan on updating and uploading my videos, but primarily just talk to you a little bit more about my experience there. And then, of course, uh, talk to you guys a little bit about what these do. So uh, we ordered our tickets about a week and a half or so ago. Um, I had no idea that the... Oh, there's a bag right there. Got one of those to go with it. Um, I had no idea that it was a soft opening. So the park was great. Park was fun. We're gonna, I'm going to upload all the videos and stuff. But my initial assessment was that I honestly wish that they would have let us know that it was a soft opening prior to getting there. I mean, there is a sign on the front gate um, when you walk into Super Mario World letting you guys know that it is a soft opening. So what that is, is they open up the park, they let you guys do whatever you need to do. However, there may be some technical difficulties. Definitely get it. You know, I definitely understand that they do the same thing with hotels and stuff like that for a soft opening, but I wish that would have been acknowledged um, on the tickets prior to going. And then also I probably would have gotten the tickets for the middle of the week so I can get on Mario Kart as many times as I possibly could. And then of course, uh, there wouldn't be as much traffic and foot traffic within inside the park, but it looks like most of Southern California decided to descend on the place. I mean, keep in mind, uh, there is about four different interactive activities you can do. Great part. I mean, I did talk to some of the Nintendo execs there, as well as one of the ladies from um, Universal. You know, we just, you know, she just wanted to know what was our initial feedback. And that's exactly what it was. But the thing that uh, I think where a lot of people were upset about yesterday, because there were some upset people. Uh, Mario Kart broke down and so uh, you guys saw my video uh, I did end up getting on it and um, They wouldn't let anybody on you know, which was a good thing You know in my opinion because a lot of us waited for like two and a half maybe three hours and some people waited three hours and then got out of line and then on top of that uh, the park shut down or the Super Mario World portion shut down at six o'clock so imagine people spending $109, $200 for tickets for the entire Universal Studios. You think you're going to see, you know, a number of different attractions. And what if you waited to go to Super Mario World at the end and then you had no idea that it wasn't uh, on park hours? It had its own limited time frame and they could shut down a lot of the uh, attractions in Super Mario World whenever they needed fit. And then, of course, Super Mario World was broken down. They finally got that up and running. And uh, there were a lot of people really upset about that. So, um, you know, I'll go into that and feel fully detailed. But I just wish they had made that acknowledgement uh, prior to buying tickets. Because I can understand paying $109. And I almost got out of line. And my wife was like, you know, do you want to stay on here? I was like, well, we'll just wait it out. See what happens. Because it would really suck to, uh, you know, that was the primary feature because it's a uh, augmented reality game and then you can't get it. And then, you know, it's not like you just pay 20 bucks to come back in and then, you know, the next day or something. But at any rate, so uh, these bands here cost $43 with tax. So I know some of the initial prices were uh, like 60 bucks, but they're $43 with tax, like 43 and some change or whatever. Uh, this is one of the napkins, uh, Retro Lizard. I'm going to throw that in the bag for you, whatever. I figured you want that as a collector item or whatever. But these things are pretty cool. Um, these are Amiibo units. You can use the coins inside the park uh, and then transfer them over to your Nintendo Switch. So you just have to keep bumping it. And you don't have to uh, 
bump it like, like this because they have coin boxes inside the park where you, you know, you hit it or whatever. You could just tap your wrist. Like if you have your wrist on there, you could just tap it like this. It doesn't have to, you know, be face up or anything. But uh, these are cool. We have the Mario one. We have Luigi. We have Yoshi Toadstool. Um, this is Princess to Toadstool or Peach. And then, of course, we got the uh, Power Up Flower. Uh, and then we also have, this is the regular Mario one, this is the one that I use. But you know, these are all lightweight, they slap on your wrist. Um, be careful with these because there are a lot of people, uh, I even slapped mines on and it flew off playing a game. So fortunately, and I had no idea it left my wrist. So you guys wanna be careful with these. These are 43 bucks, anybody can pick these up and use them. But they fall off really easy if you're not too secure with them. Uh, if you have big wrists, maybe not, but I think for kids and stuff, they still fall off. Uh, but all of these, one size fits all, and um, it does keep track within the park. Uh, it shows all your coins. Um, there are some of these inside the park. Uh, they have the Bowser kids face. I'm not sure what their names are. They have like the little red logos uh, that with the blocks and stuff. But if you use those with these, it subtracts coins away. So you guys want to be mindful of that when you guys go to Super Mario World or Super Nintendo World. Um, and that's another thing too. Uh, this park is called Super Nintendo World, but from my perception, it's not really looking like Super Nintendo World. It's more like Super Mario World. I mean, uh, I think if they're going to call it Super Mario World or Super Nintendo World, they should have more Nintendo characters. But um, it's more or less catered to Super Mario World. You know, you got Bowser, uh, you got the Toadstool guys, you got Princess Peach, you got Luigi. Uh, every, everything centered around Super Mario, that's what the park is. So I don't know why they call it Super Mario World or Super Nintendo World if it doesn't incorporate maybe some more Nintendo characters. But anyway, that's just my perception of it. So here on the back, uh, this is on the back of each one. You have your official Nintendo license, Universal Studios. Uh, you can obviously use these in Japan. Um, this is the side logo. Each one of these are the same. And there are no returns on these. Uh, they may mention me because they saw me getting all these, whatever. And they're like, yeah, these are non-refundable. You can't do anything else with them. So once they're sold, they're sold. But, uh, but my overall impression of the park is I had a great time. I mean, I had a great time. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely something Universal Studios needed because the whole park, I mean, it's not like Disneyland, you know, where you could do a lot of things. But uh, I love the fact that it's interactive. Um, is it it brings to life Nintendo and so for me it was something that was definitely needed I can't think of any other parks that really have games that are interactive I, I know maybe the Buzz Lightyear ride at uh, Disneyland is uh, interactive you know something of that nature but the park is interactive in itself because you got little things you can press on the walls you got little emblems popping up like Bowser and, and Mario in some cases. But uh, it made you feel like a kid again, you know? It made you feel like I was back in the world of Nintendo, of the sound effects, eating at the restaurant. And again, I got videos of all this stuff. I'm just giving you guys my initial first thoughts on the place. The food was great. We had a great time eating the food. The food was delicious. But, you know, again, for all of you buying tickets right now i would wait until it officially opens february 12th because i do not want to see you guys or any one of my followers uh, get tickets you're thinking maybe the park is going to stay open from nine to nine or whatever the time frame may be because they could shut it down at any time because it's a soft opening they could shut it down three hours after you get there and you're trying to wait in line to get something that's typically how it would work. So, but there were a lot of pissed off people yesterday and I could uh, understand why. I mean, I was walking back and forth, uh, trying to ask some of the workers like, hey, when does the ride for Mario Kart? Cause that was the number one attraction was Mario Kart. And you know, honestly, I wish I should have gotten there as soon as the park opened, went straight to it. But I was like, no, nah, let's wait. I want to record some other things and get on in there. Cause it didn't look like the line was long. 
And then I, I did a few things that it looked like all of Southern California descended upon the place. But that Mario Kart line was very, very long. In fact, I think I would probably compare it to Avatar, the Walt Disney World, Orlando, Florida, uh, the flight one. I mean, that I think I was in that line for about three and a half hours. But, uh, but you know, once it gets going, the Mario Kart ride, you know, as long as we didn't have any issues or anything like that, that was pretty much the only bulk of the time where you spent there uh, waiting in line. But it's raining today in Southern California. So glad we went yesterday. A lot of family members, little kids, all having fun. It's definitely an enjoyable place. If you guys are vacationing though, again, wait till, what is it, February 17th, uh, when it officially opens, because you guys really love it there. But uh, these things are pretty cool. I know Retro Lizard, he's really stoked to get these in here. You know, $43 is not bad. And I will have to admit, out of all the accessories, out of any, theme park memorabilia i'm actually happy i got this because at least i know it's something i can see i love to, well you guys know I, I love hobbies i hate proprietary things i love buying devices that have multi-purposes so knowing that i could just buy this and it wasn't just a trinket and i could use this with the nintendo switch it's phenomenal i mean knowing that you could rack up coins on it knowing i could go back rack up some coins on it, and do some other things with it it's not just an heirloom I'm, I'm happy with the purchase. You know, I was a little uh, caught off guard originally. You guys know a few days ago, I was like, man, these things are 60 bucks. I was like, no way, it's overkill. But when I saw the price, I called the park, uh, they're like 40 bucks. And there's a number of different gift shops where you guys can get one of these uh, from at Universal Studios. You don't have to go directly into Super Mario World. In fact, you don't even have to go in Universal Studios to buy one of these. You could go directly to City Walk. Uh, they do have a couple of gift shops where you can buy these. Um, got photos of that too. 43 bucks, a uh, heck of a buy, but uh, awesome place. You guys are gonna love it. Great for the family, great for friends, but please try to wait. I mean, I know it's a soft opening, but you know, I did give them some positive feedback. Um, as far as Super Mario Kart, one of the things I suggested was that maybe they add some monitors or let people know what's going on because uh, they were trying to instruct us and say, hey, we don't know when the ride is going to be back up for Mario Kart. But the the speaker, the volume on the speakers were so low, I, we couldn't hear what was going on. Everybody was trying to talk to each other, figure out what somebody said, and they only said it in one language. So if you're bilingual, or I'm not bilingual, I'm sorry, but if you're another nationality outside of English uh, and you were visiting, you wouldn't have known what was going on because we had other people we were trying to communicate with and let them know what was going on, what they were saying on the loudspeaker. But I'm glad we waited. It was fun. It, it, it was definitely fun. And so it, it, it put you inside the world of Nintendo and it was just, you know, phenomenal. I mean, I definitely plan on going back again. Uh, it was something that Universal Studios definitely needed. But for us, you know, me, I was there, and what, we got there around 10, maybe 10.30 or so. And we spent the entire day there. So I wanted to get on Mario Kart like three or four times. That obviously didn't work out, but... I, I would make that the first thing you put you, you want to do if you do plan on one. But anyway, I try to keep this video as short as possible. Uh, just wanted to kind of showcase what some of these things are, what they do. Um, I don't have a Nintendo Switch currently, but uh, Retro Lizard, you're going to get these in the mail here in the next few days. But these things are awesome. And, you know, there were a lot of confusion about what you can do with these. We just thought they were just something you slap on your wrist using the park. But no, you can use them for uh, your Nintendo unit for different coins and stuff so if i do plan on going again and you guys want one uh feel free to paypal me or cash out me or do whatever and i'll hook you guys up so i mean it's definitely worth the savings because you didn't have to pay gas or parking or anything like that so uh get you guys taken care of so anyway like and subscribe i'll catch you guys later peace out Bye bye